Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is my first YouTube video, but I want to go over this new uh, five-star gym for Diablo Immortal, and I got to say, it's extremely broken. This is a, uh, you know, a must-have gym here. Uh, for PvP, uh, the 42% is ridiculous. On top of uh, <laughs> when you hit a burning enemy... It goes up by 12%. So let's say you're on a four-piece uh, Angmits. Uh, you automatically, you don't even need a burn skill. You automatically apply a burn stack to them that goes up to three times. So you're getting just a 12% before that even goes off on them automatically. As long as you have a burn stack. And uh, yeah, it'll be a total of 54% crit hit chance. Which is ridiculously overpowered. At rank 10. So. Always get how much does it cost. To max the gym out. The way I do it is. It takes 73 total dupes. To actually do it. And. With the double. Percent drop rate. Uh, I average. Let's say unrealistically. One per every 10 crest. Because sometimes you might get double drops. Triple drops. You might get some other drops. Let's say a 4 out of 5 that you can sell. Be realistic. It's going to be about 1 per every 10 crest. So you're looking at probably running 73 you know, 10 crest as there is, which is a lot of orbs. Um, you might get lucky. It might cost less, but the average is about 73 10 crest. But yeah, this is going to be wild. Um, you pair this with the 4-piece Agments with a 4-piece banquet of eyes or a four piece gloom guides or anything like that and it's gonna be ridiculously overpowered um yeah so i just wanted to touch base on it the the two stars great as well um you know it is let's see what there's a two star is is nice this is nice um if you got a channel skill so the new uh for example, the new knockup build that Blood Knights are running, uh, it'll help them out big time with the with the with the two star, with dealing damage now, because there's no other gym that actually increases it that much. The one star is really good. Now you get duration and harmful effects. You, inf you know, effects you inflict and increase by 24%, and then the damage you deal is 2%, which is good for a well, one star. But um, I'm excited for this, you know. This new damn gem, Rolling Consequence. Everyone's wrong. They, they thought it was Sunfire. Sunfire Shard. I like the Rolling Consequence uh, uh, name. Roiling? Is that what it's called? But uh, I just want to touch base just to give you my thoughts on some sets to run with it. Um, if you want to see me in action, you can come check me out on Twitch over there. Uh, it's under Greed Gaming 1984. I answer all kinds of questions with... You know, what do you think about the classes, builds, uh, just general information of the game at a good time. We do events. Uh, you can learn some of the secret uh, little strategies that these wells have in these, let's say, Alley of Blood that I didn't even know about. Um, you'll hear some clan talk, some ROE talk, just everything that pretty much on Discord, except for my personal information, is, is pretty much on there. Um, and we just have a good time. Um, you know, we'll be in games with Krog. I'll jump in his Discord, or if you guys know Kamoy, I'll go over there and, you know, joke around with him, go on his Twitch. But, uh, we're just all here to support this community, man, and come over and have some fun. And, uh, yeah, definitely gonna be going after this one. Uh, it's kind of hard for me because I did get the one day ban. Uh, I think it's because the server I was on before was heavily bought it, and uh, somebody bought one of my pets with maybe some platinum that they got, uh, uh in a bad way. But um, who knows? You know, hopefully, you know, I don't get banned because I really want to go after this, and uh, hopefully, I was just like a a wide blanket spread, you know, of you know what could happen. me over there and actually i'm about to start streaming right now after i post this i didn't want a super long video but 
I wanted to explain, you know, how good this gym is going to be. It's going to be probably, I would say, ranked right there. You know, Blood Sucks, of course, is the number one gym because it's always active. You don't need to do anything to activate the damage and the movement speed and the damage reduction. So I think this will be right up there. It might even beat Starfire because it is like an automatic as soon as you apply it. There is no... I mean, look at this. I mean, dealing damage sends you into a roll. As soon as you deal damage, you get a 42% increased crit. This is wild. And you burn them. There is no chance to apply it. It is applied automatically. That's what's going to make this gym ridiculously overpowered. I can't even say that ridiculous right because of what they're coming out with so uh come check me out on twitch i'm about to post this and then uh jump on over there uh so hopefully see you guys over there later